Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Cowboys urged to avoid wild card move for up dash and coming WR. The Dallas Cowboys are being warned about a potential option at wide receiver, despite the team facing a contract holdout with C.D. Lamb. While a deal with Lamb will likely get done at some point, that development and the fact that Dallas hasn't properly replaced Michael Gallup means that drafting a WR could happen early in the draft. But for Bleacher Report's Christopher Knox, the Cowboys need to avoid Brian Thomas Jr., the Cowboys could use another explosive receiver to pair with C.D. Lamb, and it won't surprise anyone if Dallas plays the wild card and takes one earlier than expected, Knox wrote on April 8. However, LSU's Brian Thomas Jr. should be off the table even in a surprise scenario. Thomas has the tools to be a dynamic field-stretching receiver, but he lacks the polish to be a complete package as a rookie. Thomas Jr. is an exciting NFL prospect who may even be selected before the Cowboys get on the clock. Despite that, Knox believes the problem is that Dallas needs a player who can contribute right away rather than someone who needs time to develop. Coming into his 2023 season with LSU, Thomas needed a breakout year and he had one. Sports reference shows that he only had 720 total receiving yards over his first two seasons with the Tigers. But the arrival of QB Jaden Daniels reinvigorated the LSU offense, and Thomas benefited greatly. The Walker, Louisiana native racked up 1177 receiving yards on 68 receptions. He scored a whopping 17 touchdowns while doing so. Those are impressive numbers, and it's clear that Thomas has talent and premier athleticism. After all, he clocked a 4.3340 yard dash at the NFL Combine. But Knox's concerns are fair. Thomas could develop into an elite WR, but he is not there right now. Dallas is in win now mode, having constructed a roster that has made the playoffs in three straight seasons. There are maybe one or two receivers in this draft that can immediately be a starter for the Cowboys. Getting one like Marvin Harrison Jr. would take an aggressive and costly move up in the first round. The Cowboys are already dealing with contract questions related to QB Dak Prescott, and now they may have to prepare for a holdout. A new report from Dallas Morning News, Michael Gelkin, states Lamb, could make that choice. Lamb's agent, Tory Dandy, did not respond to a request for comment on whether Lamb will accompany teammates at Ford Center at the Star for the Cowboys' spring workouts. But of course, Dandy and Lamb are aware attendance is voluntary for the bulk of spring, Gelkin wrote on April 8. Lamb is coming off the best season of his NFL career, making the All-Pro first team. As he enters the final year of his contract, he could become one of the highest-paid WRs in the league. He has even been projected for a five-year, $155 million contract. Steelers' Justin Fields named potential target for NFC rival. Quarterback Justin Fields will play for the Pittsburgh Steelers during the 2024 season. But fan its Christopher Klein presented a scenario where he could return to the NFC by next year. Klein suggested Fields as one of five different options for the Dallas Cowboys to replace quarterback Dak Prescott before the 2025 season. The Cowboys obviously have an underlying interest in dual-threat QBs, see, Trey Lance, Klein wrote. If Prescott walks, we can expect Jerry Jones to look for a splashy name with a little upside. Fields is 25 years old, with enough starting experience to justify one last prolonged opportunity. In Klein's scenario, the Steelers declined Fields' fifth-year option for 2025. In the hypothetical, Fields also didn't receive the opportunity to play in Pittsburgh during 2024, and the Steelers presumably signed Russell Wilson to a contract extension. The Steelers acquired Fields from the Chicago Bears for a conditional 2025 sixth-round pick on March 16. The draft selection will become a fourth-round choice if Fields plays 51% of Pittsburgh's offensive snaps in 2024. CBS Sports' Jocena Anderson reported the Cowboys' plan to sign Prescott to a contract extension. 
but because it's America's team, rumors are likely to swirl behind center for Dallas until Prescott signs his next deal. Klein argued that Fields could be a contingency plan for Dallas for much of the same reason the Steelers were interested in him, he's cheap. While his output was never great, the complete lack of faith in such a dynamic athlete is a bit surprising, Klein wrote. It could set up Dallas with a chance to find major value in the bargain bin. Three years ago, Fields was a first-round draft pick. Schefter speculated that Fields could be worth multiple day two selections in a trade this offseason. But instead, the Bears offloaded Fields for one day three pick in next year's draft. If Fields doesn't play in 2024, which was the scenario Klein presented, then it's unlikely the quarterback raises his value. Fields is 10 to 28 in his NFL career as a starter. Although he's a tremendous playmaker, he is also prone to make significant mistakes. Fields has averaged 7 yards per pass, with 40 touchdown passes along with 6.2 yards per carry and 14 rushing touchdowns in his career. He has also thrown 30 interceptions, fumbled 38 times, and taken 135 sacks in 40 NFL games. Klein's hypothetical where Fields lands with the Cowboys in free agency next year is dependent on the Steelers declining his fifth-year option, the quarterback not playing for the Steelers in 2024, and then Fields electing to leave Pittsburgh. But it's also dependent on one other thing, Fields not signing a contract extension with the Steelers before the season. The Pittsburgh Post-Gazette's Jerry Dulock proposed that could potentially be on the table for Fields this summer. I wouldn't be surprised if they did something sooner with Fields, wrote Dulock on April 3rd to a question about the Steelers possibly negotiating a new contract with the quarterback. At least going into the 2024 season, the Steelers clearly see Fields as a backup to Wilson. But Wilson will turn 36 in November, so he's not the long-term solution behind center. While Fields' rookie contract is expiring, it wouldn't be shocking if the Steelers were patient with his development. Fields is younger than Kenny Pickett. The Steelers could sign Fields to an extension this summer, ending any hope for a team such as the Cowboys acquiring him in 2025 free agency. Cowboys, predicted to add dynamic FBS leading playmaker. With Tony Pollard gone to Tennessee, the Dallas Cowboys need a running back, and most every mock draft under the sun has the team addressing the shortfall early in this month's NFL draft, generally in the second round, where the likes of top backs Jonathan Brooks or Trey Benson can be had. But there will be players available beyond the top two or three backs in the pile, and it is worth remembering that Pollard himself was a fourth-round pick in 2019. According to a seven-round Cowboys mock draft from the site 24-7 Sports, the Cowboys will not only land Benson in the third round, but will get another running back, Rasheen Ali of Marshall, in the seventh round. Here's what 24-7 wrote about Ali, who did visit the Cowboys and might not be available for Dallas in the seventh round. A rising name in this year's draft process is Rasheen Ali, who Senior Bowl Executive Director Jim Nagy recently labeled a future day three steal for whoever picks him. That team is the Cowboys in this mock, who are showing pre-draft interest in him. Nagy, who has been an NFL scout for 18 years as well as running the Senior Bowl for the last six seasons, has indeed sounded off on Ollie as a prospect before. Ollie tore his biceps during the Senior Bowl, unfortunately, and did not participate in the combine, but he left an impression. Obviously, the Cowboys have an interest. Nagy wrote on Twitter, slash X last week, one player who'll be a day three for some team is Marshall R.B. Rashin Ali. Seeing literally nothing on here about Ali, but he was cooking top 100 prospects, below, with his dynamic COD skills at its senior bowl before a suffering an arm injury. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Rashin Ali? Leave your opinion in the comments.